Hi guys, it's Cutie. Today I'm back here in Adopt Me and I actually thought it'd be a great idea to open my own cotton candy shop. So if you guys like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe and press the notification bell for more. Okay, so you guys might know how much I really, really love cotton candy, so I thought it'd be a fantastic idea to have my own cotton candy shop and adopt me. So I went and bought a pizza place, and I want to transform it again into my own cotton candy shop. Um, I went ahead and I cleared everything out of it already, and I need to decide my- oh. I didn't clear everything out of it. I forgot the kitchen. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Let me clear all this stuff out of here. Um, obviously, this is still going to be the kitchen, I believe. And then I don't think I need too, too much seating. So these, well, this upstairs part, not going to use the entire thing. I might cut it off quite a bit and then just make it the bathroom. And I'll put a few seating areas out there. But other than that, I don't think I need this entire place. So let me just go ahead. I'm going to keep deleting all this stuff. I can't believe I forgot the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, but first of all, we need to pick the walls. That's always important. And you already know that the colors are gonna be purple and white because those are my favorite colors. Um, but sh what kind of purple should I do? Okay, that's kind of, I don't know if I like that. Um, let's see. I wish they had something that looked like cotton candy. That'd be perfect. They do not. So, hmm, we could do that other purple one. Or you could just do like a basic purple. Um, I kind of want like a design. Let's see. Or oh, there's always like the flowers. Um, that's too much white. Maybe I should do this one? Yeah, let's do this one. Why not? All right, I'm gonna change it up here as well. So everything matches and then the kitchen. Maybe I should make the kitchen different? What if we do the kitchen the solid purple? Perfect, and then we need floors. Let's see, let's do my favorite, my all time favorite, these floors, perfect. Let's do them out here as well. And then let's do them upstairs. Awesome, now we are ready to go. I mean, I guess I could start upstairs and just get it over with. Um, we could do the bathroom. I think I'm only gonna use until here. I mean, it only needs a toilet and a sink, so it shouldn't be like anything too, too crazy. So let's go ahead and let's put this barrier here and put another one here. Go ahead and block off this wall. All right, just like that, that looks amazing. And now we need a counter so we could put some sinks. Um, which style should we use? Hmm, I don't know. Let's just use these ones. These ones are quite cute. And I like that I could make them purple, so it is perfect. I said I was gonna make them purple and I just made that one white. Okay, come on, cutie. Now we need a mirror. Which mirror should I do? I want it to be nice and fancy. This one it always looks like it has some kind of like LED lights on the outside. <laughs> so I really, really do like this one. And then of course, a bathroom cannot be complete without a toilet. We need a toilet. Um, which toilet should we use though? I'm gonna put it back here in this back corner. So it's a little bit um, private because I mean, you kind of can just walk up the stairs. So at least you got a little bit of a warning before someone walks around the corner. Um, We'll put it right there and then maybe some trees. All right, I think that's looking pretty nice. And then maybe a rug and then, hmm, I don't know. Maybe that might be it for the bathroom. Let's see, let's make one of these fancy ones. I'm gonna make it white. Perfect. I feel like it's still missing something. Well, we definitely need something in this corner. Um, let's put another tree right here. Why not? Awesome. Okay, I think this looks great. Uh, besides, the counters are kind of empty. Ah! Okay, I keep saying I'm done, and then I keep adding more and more stuff. Okay, just some candles so it smells nice and pretty in here when my customers come in. You don't want it to be stinky. Perfect. Okay, I think that looks awesome. I'm gonna go back downstairs and let's start in the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some counters. All right, I'm just gonna line them like this around this back wall. Should I have another sink? Hmm. Yeah, let's put another sink. Oh yeah, I forgot about lights. It's probably so dark up in that bathroom, huh? All right, let's go ahead. Let's go look up there. Totally forgot about lights. How do you forget about lights? Okay, yeah, it is very, very dark up here. Let's see. Let's get some lights up in here. Just these basic ones will do. Just put two of these. I actually kind of like these lights. They look very fancy, very nice and clean looking. Awesome, and then maybe we'll put one right here as well. 
All right, I think that looks perfect. And one more. Okay, awesome. So let's go head back into the kitchen. And I'm gonna grab a fridge. I don't know why I'd need a fridge for cotton candy, but we're gonna have it anyway. Um, I'm gonna make it look like it's a like a laying down fridge. Oh yes, like this, perfect. Awesome. So it looks like a like a standing cooler, not a standing cooler, like a sideways one where you open it this way, if you know what I mean. I really, really like those. Um, let's see. Ooh, I could put some of those cool cloud lights in here because the ceiling's so high. Give me some of these. Oh, it looks like cotton candy almost. Okay, this is perfect. I'm gonna put a few of these just like that. Okay, I think that looks amazing. Um, next we're gonna need some shelves. Hmm. Probably some more counters too. I'm gonna maybe make like an island kind of thing. Right here in the center. Let's see. Put one right here. I don't wanna make it too, too big because this room isn't too big in itself. So I'm just gonna do maybe three. I don't like how it's not even. Okay, that's fine. Um, but of course, no cotton candy shop is complete without cotton candy. So we need to build some cotton candy. So I'm gonna take some tiny trees. We're gonna make a bunch of different colors. We'll make this one blue. And then we'll make this one, this light green. And then maybe pink. Let's see, let's, let's do pink. And then purple, of course, cause that's my favorite. Oh, that's a really big cotton candy. Awesome, just like that. And then we need a brick. Because uh, these are trees, but we don't want them to look like trees. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm going to put it on small grid so it's even. Just like that. Oops. I wanted that to be white. Awesome. Look at the beautiful cotton candy. Oh, that looks so yummy. Look at that. Okay, that looks great. Um, But back here, we need some stuff back here. Hmm. I don't know what to put back here. Maybe some windows. I mean, it is kind of kind of dark in here. Not dark, um, closed in, I should say. Maybe a nice big window just like that, you know, make it purple. Oh, I think that looks beautiful. Okay, this is looking very, very good. Maybe some hearts. Okay, that one was really, really big. That's how much I love you guys, the massive heart. But we need some smaller ones for the walls. Awesome. And then this one needs something different. Should I do shelves of cotton candy? I might do shelves of cotton candy. I think that sounds like a great idea. Let's see. And this is a cotton candy place, so we need to have lots and lots of cotton candy for everybody in Adopt Me. So I'm just gonna put some trays, and we're just gonna make a few shelves of cotton candy. Because, I mean, you can never have too much. Oh, look how amazing that looks. Now we got lots and lots of cotton candy in the kitchen, just like we should. But I still feel like it's a little bit bare. So I'm gonna put maybe a rug right here and then a few trees just to give it a little bit of like a green color, a little pop of life. Um, let's see. Perfect, just like that. And then maybe a rug right here. Let's do the striped one. All right, I think this kitchen looks amazing. Look at all the cotton candy. All right, now we need to go and we need to decorate out here where all my amazing customers can sit. First, I need a counter, like a checkout counter. So I'm gonna make that right here. Just gonna put a few of these, um, uh, the cheap counters down. Let's see. So I can make a little checkout area. Not too, too many though. Maybe just three or four. Let's do four. I want to be able to have room on the sides to walk through, of course. And then we're going to need a cash register. Awesome. And then we'll put some flowers. Just like this. Awesome. And then, I mean, it's going to need something back here. Oh, maybe I could display my cotton candy back here as well. I think that sounds like a good idea. Here, let me put some counters down. Lots and lots of counters in this build. But I need to display the cotton candy that I'm selling because that would only make sense, right? All right, now I got the counters. Of course I need the cotton candy. Should I do big cotton candy? I think I should do big cotton candy. I think that would look really, really cool. Let's do big cotton candy. Let's see. Let's put them all down here and then I'll color them after. I don't know, is that a scam? I mean, it looks like I'm selling really large cotton candy, but I mean, in the kitchen, it's not this big. Um, No, I mean, I guess they could buy one of these if they wanted to. They could come in different sizes. All right, let's make them colored. Yeah, we'll do blue, we'll do pink, and then maybe some yellow, and then maybe some, I don't know, we're pretty good at colors. Um, we'll do some red, maybe it's cherry, and then, hmm, 
We'll just do that color, why not? And then we're gonna need some bricks again. All right, I think that looks pretty cool, but I think I also need a sign to display what I'm actually doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a barrier. And then I'm gonna grab some boards so I could write um, some text over it. I'm gonna make a sign that says Cutie's Cotton Candy Shop. I don't know if I could even put Cutie on the sign. <laughs> All right, I think that looks pretty, pretty cool. And then maybe just a rug back here like this. And okay, I think that looks amazing. That is a nice little walk up area for everybody. And then of course I need some seats. So I think I'm just gonna do some booths. Not those kind of booths. Let's see, let's go into the seating section. Where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Okay, there it is. Let's see, tables. Well, I guess I could do some tables first. I don't know, maybe I should do the seats first. I don't know. Okay, um, where is, is there seating? Is there seating? I don't see seating. Um, all right, maybe it's in living room. Let's see. I think it's in living room. Okay, yeah, here's seating. <laughs> yes, we'll do some dining benches. This is perfect. I'll just space them out like this for now. And then if I need to move them, I'll move them later. All right, you got some nice booths going on. I think that looks amazing. And then maybe I'll just put some hearts for some decoration on the wall in between, um, I guess the individual booths. Maybe like this. I think that looks amazing. Was that a small heart? Yes, it was. That was a small heart. Okay, one more and awesome. Okay, I think that looks really cute as well. Kind of wish that these were white instead of black, but I mean, that's okay. I mean, everything else has a white accent, but um, that's okay. That's the only complaint I have about Adopt Me is that you can't change everything, but that's all right. Let's see. Um, Maybe if I might put a little pet area under here, maybe for Carrot when he comes and uh, works the shop with his mom. So let's see, let's go ahead and put this down and then we're gonna need to do this, awesome. And then let's grab a pet bed. Um, which one? I really like the rectangular one for some reason. I think it looks nice and comfortable. Let's put this and then of course some food and water. Awesome, that's a nice little area for Carrot. Then I'm just gonna put a few more rugs. I'm just gonna add a last few of uh, decorations. Just maybe some trees over here. Those are always a great idea to put down when you uh, have an empty space. They're super, super easy. So I'm just gonna put down maybe three, just like this. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, I think this cotton candy shop looks amazing. So let's go ahead and give it a little tour. I'm gonna start from the outside, of course, so you can get the full effect when you would first walk in. All right, so here's the outside. Got my face up there. Um, let's go ahead, let's walk in, and then you come in and boom, you see this cotton candy sign and all the big delicious cotton candy in the back. And then this is employees only, but I I'll give you guys the exclusive look. You look up and you got these beautiful cloud um, lights and then lots and lots of cotton candy shelves and more cotton candy on the counter and a nice little fridge and then some sinks to wash your hands, of course, when you're serving customers. If you ever give anybody food, you should always wash your hands if you're ever dealing with food, even if it's for yourself. And then you got some booths. So you could sit and then Carrot has his own little area down here and then you go upstairs and there is a nice bathroom area. So I think this uh, came out really, really good. I'm very happy with my cotton candy shop. I'm very happy with uh, the way it came out and just the fact that I have my own cotton candy shop and adopt me now. If you guys like this video and you wanna see me build more shops, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.